you can just picture any minivan you've ever been in. If you ripped out all the seats, that's what you've got. It's that amount of room and it's five people sitting on the floor and the porthole is only the size of the window on a small washing machine. So that was it. The, the, it was five of us in that space for 10 hours. With a joystick from a gaming system, that's a great thing that how very simple this submarine is and how how easy it is to navigate. You just enter another state of mind on this whole experience for 10 hours where you don't need to eat or drink, you don't need to use the bathroom. It's just this combination of, of concentration and meditation. When we got to the bottom, uh, we knew we were near the Titanic, but again, it's such utter blackness. We didn't know where it was. And you, you get about three hours at the bottom of the ocean before you have to resurface. And we spent two and a half of them just groping around blindly at the bottom of the sea, trying to find the biggest ship in the world. Suddenly it appeared in view and we had just enough time, I've got to say, to do a real tourist photo op. It was just enough time to see the anchor, see the porthole, see the bow of the ship, and then we came back up. 